there. Huh. Nobody can get higher than us. Watch out. Anthony! Anthony! Wait! How do you climb so easily? Even with weight? And we're out of breath already. My grandpa taught me this. Oh, I'm tired. Grandpa, why don't you ever get tired? Hmm, it's because I've been training since I was a child. A lot? How much is that? Every time I climbed the hill, I took a rock with me. And when there were many rocks, I became strong. Look. Oh, wow. Can we train with you? Won't you change your mind? It will be very hard. Yeah. No! <sighs> Well, well. Every day they're climbing the hills with rocks. I must find out why. Here we go. One more rock. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I caught you. <sighs> why are you climbing the hill every day, huh? We are training. We want to be strong like Anthony. Will you join us? I don't want to. I'm busy. Uh, it will take them forever to carry one rock at a time. Uh, I can do better. Uh, I'm genius. Uh, uh, one more step. I'm here. That's Sam Sparky. We must help him. <laughs> Pour out the rocks. I can't do it! Turn the arrow. Why did you pick up that many rocks? I wanted to get strong fast. But when you're hungry, you don't eat for a year ahead, right? Yeah, because you can burst. But I would never burst. Well, of course. You do train every day, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky is so handsome. Not only is he handsome, he is the best train in the world. I adore him. And I, and I, I adore him three times more than you. Hey girls, what are you arguing about? Let's go play together. What do you want to play? Well, we can play tag. <laughs> <laughs> you creep like turtles. <laughs> But we would love to play with Ricky. He is a champion. But I'm also fast. I can even overtake Sam Sparky. No way! Sam Sparky is the fastest train in our city. He is almost like Ricky. Well, we'll see who's the fastest. Ready? Set? Sam Sparky, don't cheat. I'm not cheating. My wheel slipped a little bit. 
Ready, set. Go! Who will you cheer on? Sam Sparky, of course. He almost looks like Ricky. Then I will cheer on Sam Sparky as well. Train. Wake up, turtle! You're losing! <laughs> Sammy! Sammy! Hooray! Hooray! Be careful! Sam Sparky, are you okay? Help! I want to get out of here! Help! I want to get out of here! We must help him, or he will sink. But how? He doesn't know how to swim. Guys, I have an idea. Come on, guys. Together, we can do it. Ethan, I'm sorry for teasing you. You lost the race. But you're the smartest train ever. Thank you. Oh, not a big deal. Forget about it. Ethan, you are so smart. So let's play tag. But I'm not fast enough. But you're really smart. And a real friend. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Catch us if you can! Ha ha ha! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did I miss something? Mom, I have a feeling that I forgot something. Don't worry. If it's something important, you will remember. What did I forget? Maybe if I close my eyes, I'll remember. I remembered! Ethan! What are you thinking about? You almost hit the fence! I forgot to wish my mom a happy birthday. Yes, of course. Boys never remember about important things. I should go back and congratulate my mom. Without a gift? Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me. I will give my mom a very special gift. You'll see. Hmm, you're a dreamer. What's special that you can give her? An elephant? An elephant is a good gift, but they live in Africa. I must think. Oh, I have an idea. <coughs> it will be so fun. Mom will scream with happiness. Uh-huh. Or maybe with fear. Adults don't like carousels. And also, who will let you take the roller coaster from the park? Nobody will. I agree. Not a good idea. <laughs> oh, I have another idea. <gasps> Are you serious? You can never train these trolleykins. Your mom will be so angry with you. Oh, what will I do? I never thought it'd be so hard to pick a gift for mom. <gasps> oh, I know. <gasps> oh! 
No? You don't like this one either? What if I get her a butterfly net? You're choosing gifts for you, not for your mom. She would not like any of these gifts. Mr. Clockface, I'm looking for a gift for my mom. I can't find anything. Can you be my gift? Mom always needs to know what time it is. Oh, Ethan. I'm afraid I'm not a very good gift anymore. Ethan, Mrs. Duff always has gifts. Mrs. Duff, what gift should I get for my mom? There's nothing left, Ethan. Come back tomorrow. I don't need it tomorrow. My mom's birthday is today. Well, let me see. I only have a balloon, but it's also a good gift to give, Ethan. Yeah, it's good. But everyone has balloons. I wanted to give her something special. But it's okay. I'll take the balloon. Mother dear, happy bird. Oh, oh it, it flew away. Ethan, don't worry. The gift doesn't matter. It's more important that you remembered about my birthday. You are the best son in the world. <sighs> Guys, let's play tag. It's boring. Then let's play hide and seek. But we've played that a hundred times. Then the game of silence. And what are the rules? I'll tell you. Did you get it? One, two, three, and four. Say no words, the game is on. Sam Sparky, are you home? We're going to watch a movie. Are you with us? Uh -uh. He doesn't want to? Okay. I guess we'll go without him. Oh, Arnold, help me, please. The gates are narrow. I can't fit in. You show me the way. I don't want to hit the gates. Ah, oh. Now, do you see what happened? Then why didn't you say something? Vera, I told you that you should call me when it boils, and now the whole family is hungry because of you. You could say you're sorry. Mm. What does mmm mean? Doctor, please help my son. Now, what do we have? Flu, or are you running a temperature? Worse. My son doesn't talk. What? Another one? We have seen seven others that don't talk. There's an epidemic in Train City! Kids can't talk! We must take emergency measures! Yes, yes. My son hasn't talked in two days. And mine. And mine. Everybody is silent? It means they are playing a game. Hey kids, are you playing the game of silence? <laughs> we will cure all of you now. 
What should we say? Oh, I've got it. Five, four, one, two, three. Now you're free. <laughs> Finally, we can speak. I would never talk first. I wouldn't either. And I can keep silent for a whole week. And I for one year. We forgot that we were once kids like them. And I used to play the game of silence. And let me tell you a secret. Once I kept silent for four days. <laughs> That's interesting. What is going on there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Hey, what are you doing here? It is a throwing weapon of the ancient Romans. What is that? They put it, the shell in here and then pull the rope and... And threw it at their enemies. And who are you going to shoot with your catapult? Actually, we don't want to shoot with a shell. We are planning to shoot it ourselves. Isn't that a cool idea? Oh, wow. Can we join you? You join us? <laughs> I don't think so. It's not a girl's business. I don't understand. What does that mean? Building and repairing is not for girls. You'd better cook, clean, or water the flowers. Oh, really? Is that what you think? Then let us build your catapult and you do our girly things and then we'll see who does a better job. Well, I'm sweeping and you're cleaning. Maybe I can sweep the floor and you can clean. There's no difference. Every girl can do that. these catapults made. Here's the drawing. Let's start. Oh, oh, oh. Farah, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I found what we need. I told you, it's easy. Look how clean everything is. Yeah, very clean. Ethan! George, be careful! I'll help you! George! The bookcase! Oi! 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 I tried to warn you. How is it? Awesome. We would make some really good Romans. We tried our best. We can see that, boys. We didn't know girly work was so difficult. Is it funny for you? Let's go and see the catapult that you built. Wow. It's amazing. Awesome. We would be really good Romans. You did a great job. We'll never make fun of you ever again. And we will learn how to clean. We have our own instructions. Ready? Let's do it! Ready, set... Good 
job, you have the best results. Who would doubt that? Sam Sparky is the leader of the competition after the second jump. He is winning now. It's okay. We have one more jump. Arnold is getting ready for his second jump. I believe that he can fly this time. I doubt it. Huh? Oh! <sighs> I can't believe it. It's a failure again. <laughs> Arnold, where are you going? There's one more jump. I don't want to try. I can't fly anyway. Wait, I've got an idea. Really? These wings are way better now. Are they this big because I'm fat? No, you are just big. Oi. Hey, you look like a pterodactyl. <laughs> Try not to fly away. I can fly. I can fly. Yay! And now Ethan gets ready for his third jump. And Ethan loses to Sam Sparky. There are only George and Arnold left. And we will know who the real champion well, is. Well, it's clear that I'm the champion. These kids could never defeat me. Excuse me, George will not jump for technical reasons. And please welcome Arnold to his final jump. George, what's wrong? I can't open my wing. I think it's stuck. But you had a spare one. I gave it to Arnold. I can do this. I can fly. He is flying. But does he know how to land? Ah, the earth. Ah, ah. I can't believe it. Arnold is the winner of our competition. And Arnold gets the Champions Cup this year. Congratulations. Hey George, wait, here, my prize is yours. If you didn't help Arnold, you would have won third or even second place. Take it. If George didn't help Arnold, you would have won second place. George, George, take it, it's your cup. If you flew with these wings, you would have been the champion. But I'm not sure of that. Then let's jump one more time. Hooray! Hi. Ethan, where are you going? Today is April Fool's Day. We're gonna have fun at the party. <laughs> hey. Pull the string and find a gift. <laughs> hey, George, Ethan asked me to give you powder for magic tricks. You put it in the flask and the color changes. Really? We can do it at the party. Here, come and try it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oi! Ah! <laughs> oh, oi, 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 oi! I don't understand anything. No, you don't. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. Oh, I'm late for the party. Vera, stop. I feel dizzy already. Stop it. Finally, here they are. Hey guys, what's wrong with you? Sam, Sparky, and Fantastic pulled April Fool's Day jokes on us. That's why we're late. But those aren't very nice jokes. What should we do now? You could give them a prize. <laughs> Our jokes on Ethan and George were really funny. Here you are. I've been looking for you. You have a prize. What kind of prize? For the best jokes, you get free rides on a roller coaster for joking with Ethan and George. Ah! My turn. taking photos. Is this a joke? Isn't it funny? Your jokes weren't funny for me and George. <laughs> Nobody loves bad jokes, but good jokes make us happy. One, two, three, hmm, hmm, ah. <gasps> <gasps> A star is lost. I can't believe it. Come on, wake up. George, don't tell me there's an earthquake. I was having my favorite dream. Worse than an earthquake, a star is lost. Let's find it. Not the best time to dream. We're in trouble. She can help us. A star got lost in the sky. Let's find it together. Perhaps it fell down. I've seen it. Then show us, where did it fall? If a star falls down every night, then after a million days, there'll be no stars left in the sky. If there are no stars in the sky, it won't be interesting to dream at night anymore. We must return it immediately. can't find it anywhere. Oi, I can't find it anywhere. Listen, if we can't find the star, then we must find the one who might have it. Why are you so happy? 
My dream came true. My grandpa general will send me to train school. I will finally become a real military locomotive one day. Ah, that means you have the star. How could you think that I wouldn't share a star and the fulfillment of dreams with you? Someone else has the star. <laughs> he has the star. Can you see the bandage on his head? The star probably fell on him. Finally, my dream came true. I even forgot my toothache. It's good that stars fall down. It's good that Anthony's and Grandpa Billy's dreams came true. I counted and came to the conclusion that all stars in the sky are enough for the residents of Train City. That's what happiness is. Hmm, hmm, shame on you boys. You ruined my flowers. I'm not giving back the ball. Grandpa Billy, we're sorry. We didn't mean to. I can score with this ball. You'll see. <laughs> Grandpa Billy, why are you squeaking and coughing? Did you catch a cold? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I guess I, I caught a cold. Well, inflammation of bearings, rheumatism of the wheels. Uh, aha, found it. But it's it's in a foreign language. Trainius, squeakius, coldus. <laughs> the train's squeaky cold. I didn't know that I could understand a foreign language. Squeaky cold? That's terrible! Get in bed! We will cure you! Patient, you're shaking! I can't take this anymore. It's too hot. The patient has a fever. He needs ice. It's too cold. Patient, I hope you wash the wheels before taking the medication. <laughs> ah, too hot. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. Now it's hot again. It's our fault that Grandpa Billy has trainiest, squeakiest, coldest. We must help him. I have an idea. Vera, do you have black pepper? Don't worry. We will warm you up and everything will be all right. Who called a doctor? Who called a doctor? Who has Trainius Squeakus Coldorus? We have a medicine for you. Uh, I'm, I'm sick. Help me. It's in a foreign language. Blackus Pepperus Groundus. Ground? Black pepper? What? Pepper?
I won. Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.